so many fashion fabric stores in Rome. This is part two. I'll show you what I found. Coming up. Beep, beep. Well, I finally made it to Rome. I wanted to see all the fabric stores that they had there. And I love historical buildings and places. And Rome has it all. I was floored half the time. Got a little overwhelmed, actually. We were there for seven days. And I have a part one that I did um, last week on the, some fabric stores that I found. So I hope you saw that. This is part two. Now, if you want to go right to the fabrics, go see the time codes below. It's about halfway through this video. And I started in where it says fabric stores. And then you can bop right over to that. But if you want to see some cool things that I saw in Rome, keep watching. So Mike and I were in Rome for a few days at this point, and we discovered we love to hang out in the alleys <laughs> and drink beer and watch the people go by. It's crazy how the traffic and the people mix. I've never seen anything like it, <laughs> but it's it's fun to watch. Uh, okay. Aww. Aww. Beer. In the street, with the cars. <laughs> mm -hmm. In the cars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would have thought this little alley would be that big. <laughs> Listen until we got there. All right. <laughs> There's a door. Fifty dollars. Oh, here comes a bus. Here's the mini bus. So one of our first stops was the Pantheon, one of the oldest or the oldest building that's in use still. It's almost 2,000 years old. Wow. <laughs> I just can never get over how they built these buildings. And then we went on to the Colosseum the following day. And if you go to the Colosseum, you've got to get this book right here. It's Rome. Um, it was in the gift shop. And I love this because they show like what the building looked like and then you open it up and it shows what it looks like today. And we were like, well, I'm going to look at this on the plane. Or, like this is in the forum. There were um, the baths here and then it shows what's left of it today. And like these buildings right here, what they, I guess that was behind it. Oh my gosh. I just love seeing how all these were. Look at this. Wow. So it was like that back in the I don't know time. I can't remember when the forum was, but I got a little overwhelmed in the forum. Um, it was, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's a lot to take in. So you just go, oh. So here's a quick tour of the Pantheon and the Colosseum. Okay, it rained today in the Pantheon. So that is a hole in the ceiling. And then it rains and the door it glass. It's a dream. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. 
And this floor is 2,000 years old. This is the original floor. And it rains. And it comes in here and they block it off with the ropes because it gets slippery. That is a trap. So this is a circle where it rains. And the floor is not deteriorated. How is that? And by the day, it's a clock. I wonder what this looks like during the day. Wow. This is amazing. Alright, going up. And it's bronze doors. This is the oldest standing building in the world. Oldest in use. 1950 years. The size of these columns. Today, we're going to a policy. <laughs> Not everybody's just driving the laps around. This old wall is from. This old wall. <laughs> like, who are you, you calling an old wall? We should go across as one of the diamond Look at those. That's all that old wall. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at all this right here. Wow. Look at this road. of Constantine. Wow. He won a big battle and he was celebrating their victory. And he was the one that turned Rome into Christian. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. They took the marble from there. This used to be all white All marble. white mar marble and stuff. That's what all the little <laughs> pot marks are. Yeah. yeah. They took the reinforcement out of it. The yeah. iron or something yeah. to build other stuff. Right. And the marble went to the Vatican. The Pope stripped the marble out. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. A lot of it went to St. Peter's Basilica. Oh. Yeah, that's kind of good. The tour so far has been fabulous. Oh, I know. It's been a very informative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Ooh. Great. Right. Look at that sunshine. See that section over there? It's got the white marble on it. Oh, yeah. That's what little bit they've been able to save, so that's what the seats would have looked like. All the way around the shiny white marble. Thank <laughs> you.
Они думали построить церковь в этом? So, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like current rainwater. Oh, I know. You <laughs> <laughs> went, ooh. ooh. Look at that, it's right up close. It's like. Yeah. Now on to the Forum in Palatine Hill. I put Palatine Hill here first because I was so surprised. I wasn't sure what to expect and I thought it was just a small little thing but Palatine Hill was enormous <laughs> and 
wow, I could spend the whole day there. When we actually got, so it's all like the Forum and the Palatine Hill are together, but we actually, when we get into the Forum, I was so exhausted <laughs> by so much input. We did the Colosseum, we did all of that all together, and it was just a lot of input. This is uh, another Forum, is it right here? So like how it looked then, and then the runes of it there. I just, it floored me how massive these buildings were and how they built those, you know, thousands of years ago. I just, I couldn't get over it. There's one building that we saw just, we didn't even continue all the way into the forum. There was this one huge building. I was like, whoa, oh my gosh. It just, it was enormous. So, so take I hope you find this fascinating. Okay, now we found the road to the forum. Apparently, it's the original road. Yeah. And now we have modern age cobblestones. <laughs> from the 1800s. From the 1800s. It's brand new. A little smaller. <laughs> Wow, this was a tomb and a sandal. What's down there? The subway. The subway. Wow. Look at that. Yeah, they had like secret tunnels. I mean, they said the Pope's got a secret tunnel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. of the griffins. Yeah, that's that part. They said it was really intact, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's that something. said it was like first, sec first and second century BC, right? Stuff. That yeah. Was, yeah. It's just a mega mansion. Yeah. From before Christ. <laughs> cool, Barney! <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That was the Griffin house. Oh, this is their plaque? Yeah. Well, I guess that's one of the few things that survived. Or... It's still there? Yeah. Mm. 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 
on the chariot and said, hey. Hmm. And that's where they were in here, right there. That was the gardens. <laughs> they had weed whackers back then? <laughs> They're replicas. corner and came across this beautiful building. I actually forget what it's called, but Michelangelo statues adorned it. After we left the forum, it was just too much to take in, so we planned to come back the next day, but we didn't <laughs> because we had fabric shopping to do. This one is straight, but this hundred percent synthetic. Kind of polyester. Polyester, yeah. yeah. How much uh, euros a meter? This one, like. Uh, it's a beautiful color. Twenty-six euros. Twenty-six per euros. Yeah. It's such a beautiful color. Mm
Yeah, yeah parts of this one and, and this one. Everything I find never has a price. <laughs> That's really interesting to me. 55? 45. 45? Yes. You know this one? I pick out everything that has no prices. Yes. This one is 75. 75. Okay. And this one? It's beautiful. Is this just all and This uh, one, 40 euro. 40 euro? Yes. This one is made out of, uh, you know? Cotton, polyamide. Cotton? Yes, 67% oh, wow. cotton, 22 polyamide. Uh, Looks. Looks. It's gorgeous. Lots of wools. Beautiful. Knit. Sunskirt. Beautiful print. It depends on how much it is. Whoop. How much is this? I just see zeros. 42 Wait, zeros. Is that right? <laughs> yes, this is this. Is. It's 42 with discount 35. 35 a meter? Yes. Al momento no, mi sarebbe giro e penso che tutto anche il blu, se mi possono mettere degli arrivati già rientrato, una pezza del blu sembra 50 metri. Anche, anche a me mancano, anche a me mancano 5 persone, chi sta male, chi sta in ferie, chi sta... Eh. Però non è chi blocco la qualità. Però comunque io gli rimando e mi faccio un caccio per il Seguilo anche il verde, eh? A chi ti sa più se fai io tra me e loro? Era già partita, no? Per cosa? Oh, molto bene. Identico. Identico. Non è di scores in silk. How much is that this piece? Good price, is it on sale? Just one meter. <laughs> one meter and two feet. Mm. God, that's gorgeous. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I should not look anymore. <laughs> I blow my budget. <laughs> 50 euro on this piece. I take it. Oh, that's, yeah. That's beautiful. Roses are like in right now or something. I've been seeing a lot of roses. I don't know what mm. this. Is. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. I love navy. Oh my god. Oh, I got to quit. I can't look around. Blinders. <laughs> blinders, blinders. Oh, I bought, I bought four pieces. Oh. <laughs> okay, I can't look anymore. <laughs> ah. Look, here we are, here, Ooh, and the okay. other one is here. Wait, what is your name? Paolo. 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 Oh, yes. You've worked here a long time? Seven. 60 years? <laughs> no, 63. 63 <laughs> <laughs> years. 17? Yes. Wow. Wow, 17. Okay. Wow. 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 Nice to meet you. Wow. Thank you. This is beautiful. <laughs> I hope my credit card works. <laughs> it's supposed to. <laughs> Hello. Look at this too. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. Put the blinders on. Stop looking. Stop looking. Uno e quaranta. Molto semplice. Oh wow. 
this I feel this. Oh, that's nice. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Last piece. Last piece of this and the last piece of that. Yeah, I saw that. Mm -hmm. And this is just for the summer to wear. Yeah. This I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. That's gotta get combined with something. Mm. I just was wow, this one, this one I might make a skirt for the guild awards. Mm -hmm. Stuff I used to buy in the nineties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's Beautiful fabrics. Beautiful, beautiful. That was a great store. Bassetti. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but yes, you got to see that if you go to Rome. Oh my gosh. So there, here is the fabric that I found. I just love this, like, I don't know. It's kind of a, I want to say reptile, but it's not. I don't know. I got to figure out something what to do with it. Got any ideas? What would you do with this? I only got about three quarters of a yard. I thought I got a yard, but well. Uh, then I found this. This was what seventy-five dollars a yard, seventy-five euros, which is about almost the same as a dollar. And I've got a little bit yard and about a yard here. What am I going to do with that? I had an idea for the Betty skirt, but yeah, that's I don't know. Beautiful. And I can't wait to make this one. This is going to be just a simple skirt for. The summer, I love the feel of this. I love the print. I love the greens and the navy and the white. I love it. And then my oh, favorite. Now look how this looks with white. It just bounces out that white. So I'm going to get some white silk charmeuse, which is real glossy and flowy. Um, this is my Supima cotton. And I'm going to make uh, a skirt out of it. Yes. So I don't need any help on that one because I know what I'm making on this one. <laughs> but the other ones, give me an idea. <laughs> so that was a really great fabric store. Now we go off to lunch where I had my favorite lunch place. It was a vegetarian Indian restaurant. There was a bookstore that people come in and read. It was like a library actually. It wasn't a bookstore because I wanted to buy books. But um, library, they would read. And then a um, really like peaceful kind of place. And then the really, really good food it was, we got curry in the hurry, curry in a hurry. <laughs> and it was so tasty. We were like, oh my gosh, wow. So I guess one of my favorite foods in Italy was Indian food. Wow, look at this little, this little restaurant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other place sounded good. It said it was founded in 1658. It's been around for a while. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. But it was the same. I had the pasta, the calicati, and the Oh, now we are on to Azinda Casia Romano. Romano. <laughs> Looks to be a very large store. We're going to go in and check it out. Oh. Upstairs. Oof. This is 
this in the States. Oh my, it's a spiral. Ooh. I wonder how long this fabric store's been here. Mickey Mouse. They have like, oh, look at this. Oh. Simba, this is the Lion King. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mickey Mouse. Hearts. That's cute. That'd be fun. 1740. It's different prices than the other stores. Hmm. This is a lot of um, home decorating. This is home deck. Yeah. Okay, ready? Ooh. 1917? Well, this was quite a store. Over 100 years old. Big store. Lots of stuff. But the people were a little rude. <laughs> the woman in there got fussed at me because I was pulling out some bolts to touch it. I'm like, I've come thousands of miles to touch the fabric. And, ha! Ah! <laughs> so, so I came out of that store empty-handed. But I bought a lot in the other fabric store, so I'm good. Way. Looked like it was a church. <sighs> mm. Rules. Ooh. It's a beautiful wool on that one. And, uh, cotton and viscose. Oh. I think I see something. Six euro, yes. Six euro yeah, a meter? Six, yes. A you want? Yeah, let me look around some more. I, I look some more, mm. but I want this yet. Basic black. Do you have any of that in white? Blanco? White, this Blanco? one? Yeah. No, white. No, no, no. Only the remaining Organza? No? Yes. It's an organza? Organs. It's got a print in it. Yes. Oh, it's pretty. Yes. Beautiful. The silk also. Yes. Beautiful. Oh. Silk. Because uh, the dark and light, you know? yeah. 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 Then, then after here, oh, dark. Beautiful. Yeah. Bonita. Huh? I speak Spanish. Bonita. No. <laughs> <laughs> pretty. Yeah, pretty. Yes. <laughs> pretty. <laughs> I didn't study my Italian too much mm -hmm. before I came. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful too. How long have you been in business? Here, uh, a more years. Years? Uh, years? Maybe 50 years old. That's beautiful. Is this four or five meters? Maybe. Or? Six euros is a good price. Uh, it's a good price. Yeah, uh, it's yeah. beautiful. It has a beautiful hand to it. 
Look at that freezer, boop. Yeah. Mm, one. Perfect. Four. Perfect. Come. I don't wait long. <laughs> we have another, another, another shop. You they do? Have, uh, they have uh, a house. The garden, bed sheet. <laughs> Big color for sofa. Oh. Oh, yeah, look at this. More fabric. Oh, hello. This one is your bag, okay? Thank you so much. Eh? So much. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> okay. There's my What's your job? Batman. <laughs> Feeding in the corner. <laughs> we had a bit of trouble finding this store. It looked like it was in an old church. So but wow, walk in. Fabric everywhere. I found this beautiful was it cotton and viscose. It's a little bit of a duller black, but Wow, four yards, I can put this to use, and it's 60 inches wide, and it just, it has a wonderful feel to it, and I love basic blacks. I sure did buy a lot of black, but I did get some colors in there. I don't know, this is all going to work out, but um, um, wow, that was a score, and six dollars a yard. This reminds me of my Sapima fabric, which is about 15 a yard, and uh, wow, I think they were like, I think we mispriced that. <laughs> I had a feeling that they were doing that. So, and I'm like, I'll take it all. And then I'm all, do you have any white? <laughs> so they're like, there's probably another whole bolt there and they didn't let me know because I would have bought it all. <laughs> anyway, but that was, a, that was a nice store. There were nice guys there. And the next day we went out to the countryside for a pizza making class. It was so fun to meet and bake with others from all over the world. And the pizza was delicioso. Oh, the pizza. It's fine spicy. Mmm, yeah. Oh, I need a pizza. Pizza, pizza. Mmm. It's clever. This is like my little stores in Los Angeles. It's like little jobber stores. Over here is some. Uh, is what fiber is that? This one, doppia crepe, crepe di lana. 
wool? Wool. The crepe. Oh, wow. Is it uh, 8 euros a meter? 8 euros per meter. Si. Oh. And it's got... Oh, uh, eight. And then uh, this one over here. It's like leather. Leather. Synthetic leather. leather. Yeah, how much? Eight euros. Eight euros. Okay. Um, can I get one meter of this? Yeah. Okay. I just ran out at <laughs> that. Mm -hmm. And then um, the navy, the wool too. Uh -huh. One two meter. This um, one two meter. Uh, yeah. Yeah, two meters. Good. Oh, thank you. You take credit cards? Yeah. Good. Tutti regalo, eh? Eh. due this is like, oops. <laughs> it's a beautiful drape. <laughs> uh, how much do you think is on there? Three? Three meter. Three, four? Six. Uh, yeah, I just take the rest of it. I found some great basics in this little store. That store really reminded me of the stores in Los Angeles. There's like little holes and you like, actually that one had a lot of, uh, a lot of fabric, <laughs> a lot of little rooms, uh, just bolts and bolts of fabrics. And, um, one other thing that in LA they kind of uh, throw one over on you, like they say, this is silk, and it's not. <laughs> but I know. <laughs> so the woman actually, she said, this is lana, wool crepe. It was this one right here, wool crepe. So I'm like, I'm like, nah, not really, but I like it, it's like a crepe. So I just did a burn test on it, and it's a synthetic, because synthetic, it's got some natural fibers in it, because it's, a little bit crispy, but it's not wool. Didn't smell anything like wool, but it's definitely got. It's a blend of synthetic and something. I don't know. Maybe can't really tell. A lot of synthetic actually, but I like it. It's a it's a good weight, and uh, it took up more weight in my suitcase. So when I travel, I got to remember just to buy lighter fabric. But um, I love navy, so this is good. I'll I'll use it. But uh, then I got this basic. I've already used some of that. It's a Georgette and. Uh, love georgettes they're really good light linings on things and then pleather i'm noticing I, I bought some pleather in la a long time ago and i use it a lot for trims and things um so a yard of that what the heck <laughs> so that was that was a score oh. Oh, oh, Marilyn Monroe. Wow, hello. I wanted to see your fabric store. This store had a lot of treasures, some really beautiful fabrics. Oh, how I love the Georgettes. They make the most beautiful layered skirts. I love these stacks of solids. This store had a lot of treasures. Boucles from Chanel, Armani, silks from Pucci, Dolce Gabbana, Versace's, Oscar de la Renta's, Gucci's. I wish these bolts were displayed a little better. I would have been able to see the full prints and got more inspired. But looking back now, it's probably good because I probably would have bought them all. Uh, 
Oh, I wish I would have dug deeper. I was just a little overwhelmed again from fabric. Now I have to go back. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I didn't buy anything. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'm shocked out. Are you shocked out? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. We should do this Yeah, I'd like to. Like probably like you than I bear. Except when there's a class, and then you show up in the middle of the class, and they'll be like, Get out of my class! We got the doors to the singer store and the sewing machines. Wow, one week in Rome is not enough time. Too much to see. All that his, all that history. Gotta go back to BC. <laughs> I can't, I can't even believe that place exists. And those uh, buildings are still there. I just, I was floored. And they have the beautiful fabric stores full of fashion fabrics. I just. Wow, beautiful. I hope you saw my part one where I went to Aston Fabrics and um, a couple other ones. And I found this beautiful Rose Cavalli Georgette in Aston Fabrics. And I'm actually wearing that to the Costume Designer Guild Awards this coming week in Los Angeles. And when I get back, I'm gonna take it apart and turn it into a day skirt. So I talk all about that in part one of Rome fabric stores. Hope you can see that. Now, if you get to Rome and go to the fabric stores and you need some tips on the places, let me know. And I'd love to see what you find. Cause I know there was a lot of fabric stores or not a lot of fabric that I wish I would have bought. And I videotaped them. I'm like, oh, I forgot about that one and that one. And like, oh my gosh, there was just too many. But I only spent about 400 bucks. So um, that's, uh, that was about my budget, yeah. <laughs> So didn't want to go over more than that because I have other places to go. <laughs> anyway, and now I got to sew all this stuff. Got to make, oh my gosh, I better get busy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed these videos and I'll see you in the next video.